So, first of all, congratulations. This movie is really astounding. Thank you. You're very good in it. Thank you. When you first read the script, did you find the humor in it? I suspected the humor. I, I don't think I knew, I didn't know it was a comedy, but I had a feeling it might be. And there were certain scenes where I went, okay, well, wait a minute, if this is a drama, this is fucking weird, right? So um, there, there were, I suspected the comedy, and then afterwards I asked a little bit and did a little research, and I went, okay, this is hilarious, it's supposed to be hilarious. Yeah. Okay, I get it. And that, did that come along with the meetings with Willie, William too? Yeah, and, and Billy kind of, well, Billy always downplayed the comedy. He didn't want us mm-hmm. to ever think of it as a comedy. You know, he wanted the circumstances and the situations to create the comedy, but never the actors trying to be funny. I think that's, that's, that's a great thing for directors to say because that really comes around very earnestly in the movie. Yeah. And I have to ask, did you play the character as unlucky or just dumb? I think he, he's a guy who probably talks a lot faster than he thinks, and he, he constantly thinks he has a solution to everything, but he doesn't. And, uh, but like an example of the comedy coming out for Chris was later in the movie when he gets more and more beat up and he starts to limp around everywhere, the limp becomes more and more extreme to the point where it's just comical that he's even walking at all. Yeah. It's comical that he's not in a hospital. You know, he's still trying to hustle despite his body completely coming apart. Played completely straight, but to me, I found it funny. And you can also laugh at him a little bit because he's kind of getting his comeuppance. When the shitstorm like, completely is over you, your character looks up to, as if God is mocking him and just laughs. Yeah. It was in the, the parking lot. It yeah. was just so funny. Yeah. And was that, was, like, that moment in particular, was that something that was that in the script or... Where he's just like, ha! Yeah, he's just like, cut up. I actually think it was. I think Mm -hmm. Tracy wrote, like, Chris begins to lose it, like, starts laughing. Cackling at the moon. Yeah, just starts hysterically laughing or something. (laughs) And it was like, ha! (laughs) I heard that, like, 50% of what you see is take one. Yeah, yeah. That must be. Yeah, at least. Yeah. Billy, you know, it's it's funny because there's so much dialogue. You think, you'd oh, you got to do a bunch of takes of it, but Billy would just be strict and you would, like, He'd like take me and be like, "Dude, get, master it." So by the time you get here, I want to do the first one. I was like, "Okay." So. Was that more of a creative thing than than like a scheduling thing? Do you think? It's totally a creative yeah. thing. You know, he just uh, he he wants that pressurized take. He wants the. It's about creating lightning in a bottle. And you know, you've worked with so many master filmmakers and great screenwriters. Are are you interested? I, I kind of get that vibe from you that maybe down the road you'll you'll. Yeah. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, you know, I've been I've been writing some scripts for the past couple of years, and you know, I, the a, a movie I kind of want to make. I wrote this script called Shack, and it's just like this movie it takes place in one location, and I just thought it would be fun to make for like no money with some friends. You know, get a, you get to make a movie before you make a movie in a certain sense. You know, you can make something on a super super low budget small camera with your friends and, and the location is a shack yeah you that's know what cool. i mean yeah just something just something to get experience and have fun with yeah yeah that's definitely like the best place to start i think yeah you know, a lot of those dogs out the garage you know? yeah i mean i don't want to bite off and try to make you know some 10 million dollar movie my first go around 